Most car enthusiasts know that more power and more torque equate to a faster vehicle, but the why and the how are a little less clear. What's the difference between horsepower and torque, and which is more important? Let's find out. Torque is a rotational force, acting on an axis of rotation from a distance. To explain this, let's use a real-world example. Right, I'm British, as you might have realised, and we use a weird mix of imperial and metric units, but when we are talking about car engines, I think it's a little easier to understand if I use imperial units, pounds, feet, and horsepower. Anyway, here we have a spanner, and we are trying to loosen a nut. We impart force, but we can't move the nut. Let's say we are able to impart 10 pounds of force, and our spanner is a foot long. The torque being imparted into the nut is 10 foot pounds. Torque is calculated as force multiplied by distance. This is why torque is often measured in foot pounds. The units are a combination of distance units and units of force, feet and pounds respectively. If we swap our spanner for a longer one, let's say two feet long, we can increase the torque without increasing the amount of force we are using. We can increase that 10 foot pounds of torque to 20 foot pounds of torque without increasing the amount of force we are using because the distance at which the forces are being applied is increased. So, what's horsepower? Power is the rate at which work is done. Work, in our example, is the untightening of the nut. If we undo it very slowly, we are not using a lot of power. If we do it quickly, we are using more power. Power is usually measured in terms of horsepower. One horsepower is equal to the power needed to move 550 pounds one foot in one second. If we slash the time in half and move that load in half a second, we use two horsepower. We also use two horsepower if the weight is doubled or the distance is doubled. A fun little aside, the average horse has a peak power output of around 15 horsepower. But because a horse can't sustain its peak power output continuously, we measure how much power it can put out over a full day, and that works out to be about one horsepower. How does this all apply to an internal combustion engine, like those found in cars? Here we have an inline petrol engine. Fuel and air enter the cylinder, they are ignited, and expanding gases push the piston down. The piston pushes down on the crank and the crank rotates. The crank transfers power through the gearbox and this turns the wheels. The torque is generated because the piston pushes on the crank at a distance from the crank's central rotation point. How much torque is generated can be changed by altering this distance. A shorter distance yields less torque, a longer distance, more torque. Horsepower is related to how fast the engine turns. The faster it can apply its generated torque, the more horsepower it generates. An engine producing 100 foot-pounds of torque at 1000 revolutions per minute will generate less horsepower than an engine generating 100 foot-pounds of torque at 2000 revolutions per minute. The second engine is generating the same torque, but greater power as it can achieve more work within the same time period. What does this mean in the real world? Engines don't produce their peak torque or peak horsepower all the time. When the engine is idling, turning as slowly as it can, it produces a minimum amount of torque and power. As you press the accelerator and the crank spins faster, it produces more torque and more horsepower. The maximum amount of torque an engine produces is generally at a lower engine speed. The maximum amount of horsepower is generally at higher engine speeds. As you accelerate through a gear, that surge that you feel lower in the RPM range is when the engine is producing peak torque. As you continue to accelerate and the RPMs climb, the continued acceleration is more closely associated with horsepower. An engine that has a lot of torque, but less horsepower, will have that surge of acceleration at lower RPMs, but will feel like it runs out of power as you climb through the rev range. An engine that has more horsepower, but less torque, might not have such a prominent lower range surge, but it doesn't feel like the power is as quickly depleted as you hit higher revs. Gearboxes, however, can significantly affect this. Gearboxes alter the mechanical advantage between the engine and the wheels. To use our spanner example, a gearbox acts like an adjustable length spanner. You can extend the length of your spanner and make it easier to loosen a bolt. You can change down a gear so that your car has an easier time climbing a hill. Engines for different purposes are designed differently, and so are the gearboxes that are mated to them. A truck needs to be able to pull heavy loads, but it doesn't need to do it all that quickly. As such, its engine and gearbox are designed to maximise the amount of torque generated. This torque means that it can pull a heavy trailer up a hill, but having less horsepower means it can't go very fast. 
On the contrary, a race car is designed to go as fast as possible, but they don't weigh a lot. Their engines are designed with horsepower in mind, and the gearboxes are designed to provide speed, not load hauling capability. So far, we've only talked about internal combustion engines, diesel or petrol powered engines. Electric motors work a little differently. As we've seen, internal combustion engines provide different amounts of power and torque at different points in the rev range. At idle, they produce very little. As the revs increase, the torque and power increase, they then taper off, first torque, then power. Electric vehicles, however, have wildly different power curves. They provide peak torque instantly, and this will be consistent until they reach a point where it falls off. Power increases as the revs rise before levelling off. This makes electric cars surprisingly fast. They accelerate quickly, and more importantly, they can feel faster than a roughly equivalent petrol or diesel car because the power is more accessible and more immediate. To summarise, horsepower and torque are different but closely linked. Torque is the force, and horsepower is how fast it can be applied. Hopefully watching this video has made the distinction between these two important variables a little clearer. If you liked the video, perhaps consider subscribing.